Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa la undawada illa ala dhalimeen. My brothers and sisters, uh, going through the advice contained in the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala advise those that are usually worried, feeling sad, nag, bored, whenever something bad, any kind of challenge or any form of wound befall them they are usually so feeling bad allah subhanahu wa ta'ala advises you that when any wound befalls you Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made such, or I say similar wound to befall people like you, people before you. وَتِلْكَ الْأَيَّامُ نُدَاوِلُهَا بَيْنَ النَّاسِ Allah says, those are days that we interchange, we interchange days. Like, wound happens to you today, tomorrow we are going to replace it with something else. Allah says, that is exactly the way we've done with those before you. You know, if you are today feeling so sad that the contract you have been pursuing at the end of the day, you fail to get it. Allah says, something like that has happened to someone besides you, even though you don't know. But after such challenges, when he was patient, I later changed it into fortune uh, for the person. Allah says, you have to learn from this happening, the event, the life journey of people around you. And if you think that this happening to you is something new, Allah says no. Nothing new, nothing new happens anymore. There is nothing that is happening no matter how great, no matter how grievous that thing is. Allah said same thing exactly has happened to those before you. I have made it happen to your frontliners. Allah continues saying, وَلِيَعْلَمَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَيَتَّخِذَ مِنْكُمْ شُهَدَا Allah says, the reason I have been making one problem to happen to you in this world is that I can through that know, you see, through trials, through tests, through problems, through challenges. Allah says he wants to know those who truly believe in him. Subhanallah. This is a great lesson. Why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala choose to know who truly believes in him by trials? It is that the one who truly believes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when anything bad happens to him or her, that person would take it as uh, the wish of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon him. He is going to be patient, subhanallah. So brothers and sisters, Allah says, And so that people around you may witness through that, that subhanallah, this hardship happened to him, problem happened to him, yet he is patient. Wallahu la yuhibbu zhalimeen. And Allah loves not the wrongdoers, the oppressors, people who are not patient enough that whenever any wound happen to them, they are usually saying rubbish, nasty things to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, this is a great advice from your Lord to you. It has come to you. It's vivid, so clear that the wound you are going through, Allah says it has happened to some people before you. Those people before you, they encountered that challenge. They won the battle of their life, subhanAllah. You as well can win today. The more you live the way they lived, 
how did they sustain challenge? They sustained challenge by believing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is just putting them into trials in order for them to, 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 to get closer to him in order for them to rebuild their connection with their maker Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So challenge, I tell you brothers and sisters, the main reason for challenge in this world, the reason why we have to pass through it, it is that so that we can rebuild our status. So that relationship, if you are not dearly to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anymore, through trials in times of crisis, you should be able to be patient and there is no one who is going to have patience except that he is loved by Allah in return. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will definitely change that uh, crisis into comfort later on. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the task for you uh, and me. Uh, Amin. Akulu kawli hadha wa astagfirullaha li wa lakum. يا أيها الناس قد جاءتكم موعظة من ربكم